another group meet with our church greeters. This is a large group of folks who rotate and stand at the doors and all of this. And I, I put it on that group me because Mr. Herb was always at the church very early drinking coffee. And so when the greeters would get there for their early meeting, Mr. Herb would be sitting there talking to them. And again, um, the outpouring of love from all of them, everyone was just heartbroken. And I, I want to say personally that I feel the same way. Um, I've been at Central Baptist for um, nine years. And Mr. Herb has never been anything but kind and gracious and good to me without fail. And he talked about y'all every single Sunday at the back door after the service. I don't think he listened to a word I said because <laughs> he was waiting to tell me a story, the latest story about his family. And when I shared with my wife that Mr. Herb had passed away, she said, that's the sweet gentleman who always talks about his family at the back door. I said, yeah, it had always been to see him or wanted us to know something about them. So I, I just want to say that I loved him and I am truly very, very sorry. Mr. Herb was a phenomenal, phenomenal guy. You have the love and support of our church. I don't want to miss that. Psalm 23 is a song we all know, and I suspect Mr. Herb loved this song. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I know this is just a brief word. I'm not going to preach a message, I promise. But I did want to say that Mr. Herb's faith was a real inspiration to me. Here over the last year or so, he would get a little confused sometimes, and he would show up to church every now and then, not often, but every now and then on a weekday, he would show up and, and think that a service was happening and would ask where everyone was. And I used to kind of chuckle at that and think, you know, I hope, it, and I get confused now, so I certainly have no judgment on Mr. Herb. But I used to think, I hope when I get confused, my confused mind goes towards the Lord. He would show up expecting church. And I just think that was a beautiful thing. Mr. Herb was one of the truly great, beautiful souls. As a pastor, every now and then you have members and you see them come down the hall and you think, oh boy, here we go. <laughs> I never, ever thought that with Herb Stark. And he will be missed greatly and we're praying for y'all and just praying for your whole family. God bless you. Let me have a word of it. Is there anything anyone wants to say before I pray? I'm sorry. Any of you like to share a word? Just the five of us here? I'll pray. Okay. I, I, I would like to say to our sister, we wish you could be here. We really do. And, and our, our family. Oh God, we thank you for all of your good gifts. And we thank you that one of your best gifts was named Herb Stark. We thank you, Father, for the life and the witness and the faith and the character of Mr. Herb, who is deeply loved. I know by his family, he is loved in ways we cannot even imagine. But Lord, I know his church family and his pastor loves him as well. Lord, I thank you for his contagious sense of joy. As I think back on his life, I don't recall ever seeing Mr. Herb unhappy. And I thank you for that, Father. He had a face that was quick to smile and say an encouraging word. I thank you for his love for you, his faith. I thank you for his dedication to his church and his church family, all the ways that Mr. Herb served and bettered all of us. Lord, more than Mr. Herb being loved by us, 
is the great fact that he is loved by you. And it's in your love and the love that you have shown us first and foremost through Jesus Christ and his sacrifice on the cross that we have hope and the knowledge that Mr. Herb is now home. And Father, I finally just want to thank you that we're able to gather here in this grave, though this is not here at this cemetery, though this is not where we wish to be, but we are able to gather here just two days from Easter on Good Friday, the day we remember that Christ was crucified and that Christ rises again. And because he rises, death has been defeated. So Lord, thank you for our time in this place. Thank you for this dear family. Would you comfort them, Lord, as only you can? Would you comfort this other daughter who is not able to be here and her family? Wrap loving arms around them, O God. And we pray this in the name of Christ. Amen. Well, God bless you. No, that's a brief word. I hope that's okay. I wasn't terribly sure exactly what you meant. We thought the world hurt. So. Where, where is the other sister? Because of the current virus situation, they couldn't safely come here. I understand. Uh, yeah. We hope when all of this passes.